Yes, I'm back, and it's PMJ, and what am I up to? This, that, and the other motherfucker. So this show is for the ladies. It's, it, it, women, please let your man be a motherfucking man. Really, I've been getting tons of mail from guys saying she is getting on my motherfucking nerves. Help me, PMJ. So I'm here to help, and I'm just the person for it. So let's get right into the bullshit. Women, you've got to understand this. I mean, take notes. I mean, a motherfucker needs a damn second by himself, really. I mean, I, I can't stand fucking needy bitches that are fucking sucking up all the air in the motherfucking room and shit. I mean, and then they're 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 misagreeable. They they're agreeable motherfuckers. Like, oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, I'll do I'll do this. I'll pick up your car. I want to do what you like. Calm the fuck down, really. I mean, you fucking purple people pleaser, fucking Martian. Can't stand those motherfuckers looking for a damn another host to suck the life out of you. Shit. And a needy bitch is worse than any of the craziest motherfucking stalkers. They won't let you out of their motherfucking sight. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Shit. Crazy motherfuckers. I mean, you're a hostage. You're sleeping with the enemy. It's a fatal attraction. And when you got a good woman, you keep her. I mean, they will be some ride or die fucking bitches and advise you in the best possible way. I mean, they got your back. But sometimes, women, you come off in from left field with bullshit. A guy emailed me and told me that his girl brought home spanks for men. What the fuck is this bullshit? I mean, you're not fucking funny, honey, like you're not. I mean, I mean, tell me to drink more water or call 1-800-Jenny or whatever, or give me a colonoscopy or a colonic or whatever, but don't you bring home no motherfucking spanks for men. You're looking for an ass whooping. And men, if they do some shit like that to you, I advise you to put the ball right back in their motherfucking court. You do this, wait for a fucking special day, a birthday, anniversary, some special or fucking occasion, and then guess what? You give them shit like, hmm, let me think, uh, squirrel earrings, shit like that. I mean, yeah, the shit's not that fucking funny now when you got fucking squirrel earrings hanging off your fucking ear, bitch, for your fucking birthday. I mean, the shit, you've been rocky and boat winkled, bitch. And now to some of the serious business. Women, you want to change your man. I mean, really, I mean, my issue is that my wife wants me to stop cursing. And I mean, I'm my father's child. I mean, I'm not going to fucking stop cursing. I mean, it's a good stress reliever for me. I mean, really, I mean, to curse a motherfucker out besides fucking, you know, coming and having a nut. I mean, I'm gonna curse your motherfucking ass out. The clinical term is called a manic punkathis bitch cockathis. I mean, in layman's terms, I'm gonna curse your motherfucking ass out. It's a great stress reliever. It helps for fucking hypertension. It helps for her fucking high blood pressure and for cholesterol. It does. And let me give you an example. What if you lost your brand new $600 fucking smartphone getting drunk at the bar. I mean, and you couldn't fucking curse. You would get home and this would happen to you. But women, I mean, if you let that man just come home, sit down in the kitchen and fucking go off and say, mother, if I ever catch that motherfucker on the street who fucking stole my motherfucking phone, I'm gonna fuck him up. He don't know who the fuck he fucked with. See, there's a, a, a weight that has that just been lifted, you know? it's It's very, 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 you know, gratifying. And there you have it, relationships are motherfucking bitch. But I tell you this, if you don't remember anything that I say, remember this, that love is grand, but divorce is a hundred grand. Think about it, and I'll see you next week. Peace.